The winners will be named the Army Soldier or NCO of the Year. The event is designed to test more than just physical strength and endurance. It tests the overall soldier skills of each competitor. There's so many different MOSs here. There's so many uh, from all different fields. You know, you got your then you have your uh, special forces and they're they're great. You know, they they up on their skills. You got your infantrymen and you got your sappers here. So they're very knowledgeable people and especially all even just the soldiers and NCOs that are deployed. You know, it's all an honor to be around such a diverse group of people. The competitors face many challenges throughout the event to include a PT test, land navigation, and a stress shoot. Training to be the Army's best warrior is... Definitely a lot of hard work, a lot of PT, twice a day PT, a lot of studying for the board. That's probably one of the harder parts, just to try and cram a lot of Army knowledge into your head in a short amount of time and trying to retain that knowledge. Sergeant Miller, a Special Forces soldier, explains that being the best is something that is always on his mind. I don't care where you're at, what, what you're doing in the Army, there's always, you know, it's a pride factor or whatever it may be. I walk around thinking I'm the best at everything I do, so I size up everybody and everything I do. I think uh, I'm a good uh, competitor for them. They shouldn't underestimate me because I'm a female. Um, they should just be prepared for, like I said, I could put up a fight and I'm an MP and MPs lead the way. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television, Washington.